today's activity called taking your character outside, I'd like you to do just that. I want you to uh, get outside and uh, walk to somewhere. Stop and uh, record a quick video introducing your character to me. I wasn't in all of your sessions, so I didn't get a chance to, to meet him, her, it, alien, dog, mouse, whatever your character happens to be. Introduce your character to me and get me excited about the story that you're about to write. So what I want you to do is go to page 63, and what I want you to do is just rip that right out of, rip it right out of your binder, right out of your pack. And what we're gonna do with this, this is where you need your scissors today. I just want you to take this series of little slips and I want you to cut them out. And what the goal of this last group activity is, you guys, is you're gonna go into your group and you're gonna see, try to figure out which one goes where and just slide them around, match them up, do the best you can and then come back to the main room and I'll just have the answer key on, on my screen. And then I want you to just take you know, like your glue stick and you just do a couple stripes like this and just, just glue them down quick. Obviously, since the kids are not in the building, um, it's making it more challenging to um, to forge these relationships. And honestly, that was one of the first pangs that I had when we went to the virtual model is the thought that um, there's a possibility that I may never actually see these kids in person. So the advisory is extending me an opportunity to forge a closer relationship with at least a class full of students um, versus them not getting the opportunity to do that with anybody. Students also get nice little reminders like this when they come into class um, before we officially start. This has been another way to really um, tap into student interests and just promote the culture and um, community that we really strive to build in our classrooms. So students get little reminders um, to bring their books, to send me a picture of their reading, or like we're doing this week, um, a reminder for students to go in and log their reading from the previous week. We're using this asynchronous time at the end of the day to meet with kids individually. We are using that opportunity to talk, keep, you know, keep up on what they're reading, uh, continue to invigorate them in their own reading goals, not only reading in general, but just what they're doing with their reading. And uh, that was really what we did a lot in first quarter. Well, now moving into second quarter, we've added a we're working in a writing curriculum, so we have actually split that time between. Uh, continuing to talk about their reading and promote that, but also now analyzing their writing and helping them make individual uh, growth in their own writing. Students sign up using signup.com for 10 to 15 minute one-on-one -on -one conferences during our student support and enrichment time in the afternoon at the middle school to check in with their ELA teacher. Not only do we check in on reading, we use this information to help students match with books, to get books in their hands, to come up with strategies to improve their reading lives and to attain their goals. But we've also used this as an opportunity to just get to know our students on an individual level. It's been a great time to just check in, to chat, um, and really learn more about one another. I love
love seeing your instruments ready to go. Guys, you're awesome. If you had your instrument unpacked and you had it tuned before just now, you are on the right path. We appreciate you and our teamwork is going to be so much better because you came prepared. So thank you. Roll your shoulders back. A reminder for our tune, The Girl I Left Behind Me. The only notes that you need are in our C major scale. So if you're starting to feel like you're struggling, just remember, come back to that C major scale. That has all of the answers for you. One, two, ready, play. One of the things that our 8th grade ELA department has really been working on in the last year is giving our students more voice and choice, especially when it comes to their reading material. Not only do we know that this helps their engagement with instruction and class material, but we've also seen what it does to our students' confidence when we give them that agency and the ability to choose their texts um, and we've watched them flourish as they get chances to demonstrate their learning and talk about what they're passionate about. One of the ways that we've been able to do this was during our first unit this year, which is our analysis unit, where we study multiple short stories. First, we start with a mentor text that the whole class studies when we are working on certain reading strategies. Um, and then we had the opportunity to try what we call our short story speed dating activity in class. Students were led through multiple rounds of a timed reading, and they had the opportunity to read as many or as few short stories in each round. You'll see that they were introduced to a number of texts spreading different genres, um, different time periods, and they had opportunities to reflect between each round before making their final choice. This was just one way that we were able to provide um, close to 15 different texts for students to choose between while we were all still learning and practicing the same reading standards. We also ask our students to read independently um, and eighth grade students are asked to read about two hours every week and we wanted a way to celebrate their reading and so we came up with something called our digital class bookshelf and this was a spot for students to celebrate the books that they were reading and planned on reading. Students entered pictures of the books that they had just finished, books that they were currently reading, and the book that they wanted to read next. And you'll see that in a short um, span, this bookshelf really took off and now we have close to 60 potential titles. We've been able to get creative using fun things that the students get a kick out of and still promote um, our students as independent readers and thinkers. And while we are all still together learning the same strategies, they're able to do that through multiple vehicles, showing their passion and showing their interests. Mm -hmm.